Hi friends, so let us discuss the features of membership functions. That means there are so many membership functions can be used to falsify the twist values. So in this process, the membership functions will give a great effort. That means if you use one type of membership function, you will get one answer. If you use the other type of membership function, you will get the other answer. And your job is to identify the best membership function out of all the available membership functions for the particular problem. So, in order to differentiate the membership functions, there should be some unique features of all membership functions where by varying the unique features with some numbers, some possible numbers, the differentiation will be very clear from one membership function to other membership function. And let us discuss these features of the membership functions so that these are very important as we are differentiating the membership di different types of membership functions. Let us see what are the different features of membership functions. There are basically three types of features of the membership functions. They are Core, boundaries, and support. Here is the graph which clearly shows all these things. First, x axis is there, x axis is the value of the value of fuzzy sets, and mu x is on y axis, and that is the membership value of the fuzzy set. That means the fuzzy set value may be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, like that, or x1, x2, x3, x4 like that but the membership value is different and that is always running from 0 to 1 that we already know that is running from 0 to 1 it is it never be more than 1 and it never be less than 0 also so in between that the value will be there for the corresponding values of fuzzy sets so in this it is very clear that there are three types of membership features are there and those are called core, boundaries and support. And let us see what is meant by core and what is meant by boundaries and what is meant by support and how we represent them mathematically. And those things will be discussed in this video clearly. Let us first move on to core. It's very simple. Core is one part of membership function where the membership value is unity or the, it has a complete membership function or full membership function. If the membership value is complete or if the membership value is full or its value is 1, then that part is called core. Okay, Let me show you the core part and here it is very clear the the line which is parallel to x axis that part is the core part as the value is membership value is 1 of course 1 is not shown here but still that value is 1 unity that's the maximum value so that part is called core so i can define the core feature of membership function is core is the part of the membership function where the membership value is one simple so that's that's what we have written here so this is all about core let's move on to boundaries or support let us see the support what is meant by support support means this support means it is the membership this is the part of the membership function which membership value is always more than zero more than zero then that part is called support more than 0 means, let me show you the thing clearly. Yeah, the entire part is called support. That means whatever the value of the membership function which is more than 0, that means the value may be less than 1 or equal to 1. Then it will it come under support. Now, let us discuss what is meant by boundaries then. Boundaries. Boundaries means this is the part of the membership function or feature of the membership function where the membership value is in between 0 and 1 and not equal to 0 and 1. So it should be in between 0 and 1. That means the boundary should be like this. 
yeah i can say that it is support minus core support minus core will give us the boundaries okay very simple concept the membership value should not be equal to 1 and the membership value should not be equal to 0 that means the boundary should be the membership value whose value is less than more than 0 and less than 1 that part is called boundaries part so this is the complete explanation of features of membership function for example now let me define triangular membership function if i like to define triangular membership function my core part should be 0 my core part should be 0 then i can call it as triangular membership function likewise we can define so many membership functions and for those membership functions i need to give some values for all these things either support boundary and co either values or some relation that's why these are very important things in differentiating the membership functions let's move on to some other parts of the video yeah now there are some differences between fuzzy sets there is two things one is a normal fuzzy set second one is subnormal fuzzy set what is meant by normal fuzzy set and what is meant by subnormal fuzzy set let us see normal fuzzy set means for at least one value the it has complete membership function that means it's a full membership function then that membership function is called normal membership function that means for at least one value of x the mu of x should be 1 then that is called a normal membership or sorry normal fuzzy set if in a fuzzy set at least for one value also there is no membership function equal to 1 then that is called subnormal fuzzy set so here the first figure shows the fuzzy set the dark line red color dark line is called fuzzy set and whose value is some some membership value it is having but one value is dotted line vertical dotted line has been shown where that point is exactly equal to 1 membership value is exactly equal to 1 so in the first diagram the fuzzy set is called normal fuzzy set in the second diagram if you see the second diagram the dark red lines are fuzzy set where it is having some membership value for each and every point but none of the membership value is equal to 1 so this second figure is called subnormal fuzzy set so that's the difference between normal fuzzy set and the subnormal fuzzy set now let us move, move on to some other differentiation yeah this differentiation is convex and non-convex convex means this is the fuzzy set where the value is monotonically increasing that means maybe constantly increasing and monotonically decreasing either it, it has to increase or it has to decrease or some other thing is also there it has to increase and then decrease then that is called convex fuzzy and whereas the other thing is non-convex fuzzy set that means if it is monotonically increasing and then monotonically decreasing and then increasing and then decreasing so this type is called non-convex fuzzy sets now let us see in the first figure and the, it is mathematically represented by mu a of y is greater than or equal to minimum of mu a of x and mu a of z here a is the fuzzy set and we have taken three values x y z on the fuzzy set and those values have corresponding membership values for example and x is less than and y is less than and z and yes as shown in the figure let me discuss the first figure here x is having some value and y is having some value and z is having some other value membership value i am talking about okay if this is the case if the y value is more than or greater than or equal to minimum of these two the minimum of x and z may be let me call 
mu of z that is the minimum value and y mu mu of y is more value compared to mu of z then if this this condition is satisfied then that is called convex fuzzy set and i can say that the first one is the obviously the convex fuzzy set and let us move on to second one let us see why this second one is a non convex fuzzy set here the minimum of x and z is maybe let me call z but the membership value of y is not more than membership value of z then the above condition is false now i can say that this is a non convex because the above condition is become false so that is the thing and this is the mathematical representation so by using this mathematical representation we can easily say that which one is the convex fuzzy set and which one is the non convex fuzzy set let us move on to some other topic yeah what is intersection of convex for example the special property of the two convex fuzzy sets is the intersection of two convex fuzzy sets is always a, again a convex fuzzy set let me see here here a a is one fuzzy set and b is another fuzzy set and the intersection of these two is shown in green colored one and this is also a convex fuzzy set and that is the beauty of convex fuzzy sets let's move on there are two important points i need to discuss and those things are crossover point and height what is meant by crossover point crossover point is the point where the membership value is 0.5 and height is the height of the fuzzy set is the maximum value of the fuzzy set and we can define uh, normal fuzzy set and subnormal fuzzy set based on the height also if the height of the fuzzy set is less than 1 then i can declare that that fuzzy set is the subnormal fuzzy set if the height of the fuzzy set equal to 1 then i can say that that is the normal fuzzy set so height of the fuzzy set is a, is one more important point and let us move on to some other topic yes these are the topics covered with the membership functions and features of membership functions and thank you so much for warm welcoming support for our youtube channel and now the subscriptions are around 1100 plus subscriptions thank you so much for that and if you like this video please like it if you want to share this video please share with your friends and colleagues if you haven't subscribed till day kindly subscribe to our youtube channel we have we are doing a lot of work on this youtube channel um, my mother is working with uh, cooking videos and i am working with electrical related videos and tourism videos some good stuff we need to include some good good stuff videos in this youtube channel so kindly subscribe to our youtube channel and please press the bell button so that you will get the notifications whenever we upload any videos and thank you thank you so much